another day here in vanilla I look at my window and this is what I see What's up, people? It's Repug, and I'm back again on another vanilla adventure, and we're smashing the start button. So today, guys, the plan is we are going to upgrade our house, get our raptor's name, maybe level them up some, and hopefully try to bag something that could help us with gathering, because... Gathering is going to be an issue, so we need to start thinking about stuff that is going to help us get wood, stone, metal, all that stuff. So I'm going to get to get or start gathering and start, you know, building because we need to get this area a little bit more secured, something a little bit better than thatch. Uh, probably going to upgrade to stone and skip wood altogether because uh, wood with the, some of the stuff I've seen come around and me having to lure it away we're gonna need something a lot more durable so yeah it's probably gonna be stone to start off with um oh and that broke let's go ahead and repair that so all right guys i'm gonna get to gathering and bring you guys back when we get a little bit closer to building the house and then heading out to go see what's around okay guys so first things first we're gonna go ahead and get a smithy down um where did it go? There it is. Okay. So, or not smithy, but a refining forge. So that way the metal we do have, we are going to get that cooking and then hopefully start making some metal tools. Uh, get a smithy down. <clears throat> get a smithy down. And just overall get a little bit progressed as far as our equipment goes. And then we also need the gunpowder, or the charcoal anyways, that we're going to eventually start turning into gunpowder. So we need to make sure that we keep everything that we get. Like, it is so essential in vanilla to store away and keep and not waste anything, especially early game. So that way, as we progress, we have everything on hand that we might need. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we got some upgrades done. We got our smithy down and we've made some metal tools and so far this is what i got of the house done uh, i'm trying to extend it to where like you know the main living area could sit back here and if anything gets up against the wall it gives a little bit of a of a buffer zone so that way things can't chew through the wall and hit so i'm still working on it it's a work in progress things are a little scary right now but I think what we're going to do at this point, I saw some trikes. We're going to try to go snag a trike and then hopefully get somebody who can get some berries or start getting some berries and, you know, thatch and stuff like that. And we can start speeding the process of doing taming because right now, like, yeah, I'm just picking uh, berries by hand and it is not the quickest process in the world that I would love to have. But man, you guys, that would tear us apart if we tried to tame it right now. So we're going to head over this way. Like I said, I believe I saw trikes up here. Yep, see, there's one right there. And now with the way trikes are there, it, you know, because they're updated with the TLC 2, this could get interesting really fast. So let's see. What level is it for one thing? Can I get close without it freaking out? Level 60. Not bad. Not bad. So we got 32 arrows. I, I think that's going to be enough. We're definitely going to find out. Let's see if I can get up here. And then hopefully it can't get up here too. Okay, it, it, I'm not going to be able to get up here. Man, would love to have those aberration rock climbing kits right now. Okay, now oh, I think it's going to still be able to hit me. But you know what? It's worth a shot. There's one. There's two. Oh yeah, it hits. It hits me. And it could get up on the rocks. Ooh. Let's do this. Yo. What's up, man? One second. Ooh, three. Four, five, 
He's getting ready to do his charge. Six. Oh, it knocks down trees when it does that charge. That's insane. Seven. Eight. Stamina's looking good. Nine. Please go to sleep. Come on, we can do this. Ten. Here we go. Here's another one. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Ooh. Ooh, 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 Sixteen. Oh, Tylo, 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 that's not going to be good. That's going to add an unwanted extra. Sprint away, sprint away, sprint away. Get some stamina back. Oh, more Dylos. Oh, more Dylos. Got to shoot for the soft spot. I think that's the mistake I'm making right now. This might not be enough arrows. Yep, we're definitely going to need some more arrows, guys. So I'll be right back. I got to go lose this guy and craft some more arrows. All right, guys. So due to recent events, uh, hey, the trike that I was trying to tame, by the time I went back and got arrows, died. Um, we're going to go out and look for another one here in a minute. But I did go back to working on the house, and I wanted to show you guys... It essentially is done. I mean, we do have wood roofs, but I, I kind of ran, as you can see, I ran out of stone in the area. Um, but, yeah, guys, check it out. We are a little bit more established than we were at the start of the episode. It it took some work, but, man, we are a little bit more protected. It, it was nice to be able to run here when the T-Rex came down. Luckily, these big bodyguards outside were able to defend our base and take out the T-Rex. And the raptor that was just, I don't even know who the raptor was fighting. It was kind of one of those moments. But this guy does need to go away. Like, he is just, for some reason, magnetized to my house now. And they're, they're, they're all doing this weird broken leg thing. It, it's extremely weird. But, yeah, he, uh, he won't leave now. Like, after he killed the Rex, like, he just is walking in circles here. And so, at some point, I'm going to try to lure him away. But I'm going to gear up, guys, and I'm going to go back out, and we're going to take one of our raptors and go try to find ourselves something a little bit bigger to tame. Uh, hopefully, we can find another trike. We do. I do kind of want it for the berry gathering stuff. That is one thing that is holding up our narco production. Like, meat is not a problem, but getting the berries is kind of slowing us down. And there is a beaver over here, but beavers, man, they are kind of rough to tame. I mean, what level is this? 24. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. It would be great for the wood gathering. Uh, it, it's a possibility. We might come back to that. We might come back to that if we can't find a trick. But all right, guys, I'm going to get everything together, and we're going to head out. All right, guys, so venturing out right now, we got everything we need. We got tranks. We got some meat. Um, we got berries. We are out looking for hopefully like one of three things. Um, I mainly want to find a trike or a pterodon, but I will be super excited if we can find um, anything at this point. I mean, honestly, like I'll, I'll take anything that's within our taming level. It, um, may I'm honestly thinking about getting a uh, uh, Pariser because they have that uh, ability to with the update to scare away smaller creatures and also the radar so it would kind of be like an early warning system if something's coming around man there is metal up here we might have to like honestly pack up and move up here because down there on the beach it's super bad but up here it's kind of quiet and nice and there's metal and it would be easier to wall off that area than build a fence all the way around. I mean, we'd only have to put a wall from there to there and then uh, just across here. So, you guys, that 
that might be a thing. That might be a thing I end up doing. Because it is pretty nice up here. I mean, it would be easier to defend, easier to wall off. But, alright guys, I'm going to keep looking. I will let you guys know as soon as I find something. So guys, from what I'm seeing, um, this itself seems to be an actual island. Like, let me bring up the map and show you. Um, yeah, it, it, it's got a bunch of metal over here, but it doesn't look like we're on the main island. The main island appears to be over there. So we're eventually going to have to travel over there. I don't know if we're going to do it by boat. Um, like I said, I'm looking for a good pterodon. I've seen a few, but they've just been out of range. And whenever I start to get into the range of being able to use a bola, they kind of like, you know, just fly over the water and vanish. So I'm keeping an eye out, but man, this is a good location. Like I'm really thinking that we could set up something bigger up here. We have metal on hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go, guys. There you go. Let's see if I could do this. Uh, whistle neutral or whistle passive. Let's see if I could do this. Aiming. Got him. All right. 54, not bad. Let's get those headshots in. Oh, B or oh. Okay, he's down. We need to. We need to get to our raptor so he can deal with those. Come on, get him, get him. Oh, they're going to be difficult. Well, he can get that one at least, harvest it. Jump on it. Oh, <laughs> I love the jump attack. It's hitting it at least. Okay, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. All right, good, good, good. All right, let's get over here and get some uh, meat on this guy so that way he could start taming. Let's see, ooh. Okay, don't have uh, the meat's on him. The meat is on him. Let's go ahead. Uh, it's only nine meat. I what? I did I forget my meat? Oh uh, man, I think I left it back at camp. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna go start looking around to get or run back get some meat and keep an eye on this guy. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we survived the night. Dawn is coming. We're about 54 or 51 percent in. I thought it was 54. Sorry. Um, we're keeping an eye on her. She's doing good. It's been quiet. We haven't had any disturbances. So everything's looking good, guys. I just wanted to give you an update to keep you in the loop of how it's going. I will bring you guys back when she gets a little bit closer to taming her if something comes along and eats us. You guys, there's another one right there. I'm thinking we're going to try to snag it. We're still watching over the other one, but... Got it! Oh, oh, oh. Should be one more. Man, we got another one, guys. Double header. That's perfect. It just happened to land right by us, so it's like, why not? Let's grab it. All right, let's get some meat off the raptor. Oh, wait. I got the meat on me this time. Let's run over here. We'll throw it on there. And, man, it's a male, too, so that's perfect. That helps us out a lot. All right, guys, so now we got another one to watch. I'll bring you guys back. This one is just about tamed out. Only about, you know, seven more bites or six more bites, and she should be good to go. And now we're watching over this one, too. Man, what a perfect, perfect, like, just thank you so much for landing here, Mr. Pterodon. This is going to help us out, so that way we have a backup if we lose one. Because, yeah, who knows what's on these other islands. We're definitely going to have to search them out and see. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to let this one tame out, too. Ooh, it tamed, it tamed. All right, we got our first one up. You guys, leave an awesome name suggestion for our very first Pterodon. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, options. Change name. Don't really need to do this because we're the only ones on here. But, you know, it's just tradition now to put the RP on it. So you guys, leave your name suggestion for our level 80 female pterodon looking all spiffy with her zebra stripe look. Now this guy over here, we are letting him starve out. Oh, I forgot that you're going to fly off as soon as I did that. Come back over here. Where are you? Land, please. 
Thank you. Just chill out right there. Don't zip off. Okay, good. That's fine. So this guy here, we're letting him starve out. You know, we're going to try to let him get down to probably about, say, 1,500 food. And then we're going to go ahead and put the meat on him. And that way he should tame out just about instantaneously. So, all right, guys, I'll bring you right. I'll bring you guys back as soon as this one tames. It's taking a little bit longer than expected because I wasn't expected to get a second one. So, all right, be right back. You guys, the second one tamed out. Look at it, level 89. All right. We're going to go ahead and get our pair back to camp. And then we could see what we need to get going for a saddle for him. And hopefully, oh, we are so overweight. Okay, it's going to take me a minute to get back. I have a lot of berries on me, and I don't want to throw them out. So I'm going to get back to base with these guys, get them in a little safe area built, and then we will go from there, guys. So I'll be right back. So yeah, guys, just looking over what is out there right now after training off the other stuff. There's a bunch of rafters and other bad stuff. So I think we are possibly um, maybe next before next episode i'm gonna move everything oh oh the raptor i forgot they could do that no 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 it, we're pinned we're pinned no 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 oh we gotta get back on our raptor oh good he's on come on come on come on raptor get him 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 get him, get him. Leave our pterodons alone! They keep wanting to go after our pterodons. Oh, our raptors hurt so bad. This is like the unkillable raptor right here. He won't die. Okay, he's getting bloody now. But we're super bloody. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh... Oh, we got him oh my gosh we got him oh eat some meat dude eat some meat oh my gosh oh that was super bad yeah we're definitely going to be moving our base up there before next episode i'll probably start working on that later tonight and get it all set up for next episode because yep this is kind of like a gauntlet when you come out here and something about knocked us out too. I'm not quite sure what it was, but yeah, see, there's a Carno down there again. Uh, just got rid of the other T-Rex. It's like as soon as I leave and come back, a whole bunch of stuff comes in. And yep, all oh, our buddies are back. Those are good to have there. They give us kind of like an early warning of you know hitting our house with their tail. Okay, they're on our backs. Good, good, good okay okay let's get over here so right now guys we're about 20 well 35 uh yeah we're about 35 of uh the chitin short uh we got the fiber and we're due we're short a lot of hide we're gonna have to get a lot of hide so yep it's gonna be a hot minute for that i hear something outside again oh it's another raptor is he hitting our guy? Nope. Our house is holding up, so it's good for now. <laughs> I can't get us inside the house. But yeah, guys, this is the way it's been <laughs> over here. As soon as we go outside, it gets pretty ugly. Okay, is he's coming back. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it's a 156 Raptor. Oh my god! Okay, maybe the Fiomi is doing it for us. Is that... Okay, okay. Is his oxygen going down? No, his oxygen is going down. Dude, we guys, we are going to get a 156 Raptor. This is absolutely amazing. This is... I couldn't even dream of something like this happening. So, alright, let me go ahead and get some meat on him. And we'll keep an eye on him and while I try to get this all organized. Terror Bird's back. Oh, yeah, he's back. Oh, oh. Oh, we just need to get him far enough away. Did he chase us through the legs? Yep, he chased us right through the legs. 
Come on. We just need to get him far enough away. Is he still chasing? Oh, God. He's still chasing. Ow. Yep. There. We're hurt now. We are hurt. About out of stamina. But you know what? I think it's okay. If we die down here, it's all good because we did our job. He is chased away. And should not be coming back to our house. Here he comes. Yep. Oh, there it is. All right, guys. So a raptor is about 60% right now. And as you can see from the green streams up in the distance, I've been, yeah, letting things chase me and running them out of here. But it has been busy. As you can see, there's just... They keep coming back this way. It's so difficult to keep them out of here. Like... I think this Bronto is going to lose to the Carno and the Carcanos. Because it's like a level 162 Carcanos. It's pretty ridiculous. And is he walking away? Oh, thank God. Yeah, that Carno is going to kill the Bronto. And then probably move on. Because I think that's a 150 Carno too. Man, what I wouldn't do for or do for a rifle and some drink darts right now. Because those are some really nice level guys out there. But, all right, guys, going to keep an eye on this raptor, and I will bring you guys back in as soon as it's tamed. Man, it's a triple header today. You guys, check it out. It tamed while I was running back level 230. Super epic, guys. All right, so using this guy here, we could go out and get some more chitin and stuff. Stuff that we're going to need to make our saddle. And luckily there are plenty of bugs around here guys so we will start harvesting and we will get our pterodon saddle made this is perfect now over here there was a carno I snuck some or dead carno I snuck some prime meat off of it and then died horribly uh, as you can see there's yeah there's my green marker so Oh man, this guy's a lot stronger than our other two. She is beautiful. Oh, I guess he disappeared. He would have been great to get some prime meat off of. But yeah, guys, we are we got a killing machine now. We gotta level it up. There are a lot of high levels that I'm continually running into. I don't know if it's a map thing or what, but man. I am just at least running into a level 100 something every time I go out. Like, it is pretty crazy. I guess it's a map setting, because I know, as far as I know, there's no way you can set that up in the INIs to make high level spawns. So, man. Okay, here's my bag. Yeah, see, this is the one that had all my berries and stuff in it. Thank you for giving that back. All right, guys, we are on the lookout for bugs, turtles, and stuff they can hook us up with some keratin or chitin. Oh, that is an alpha carno. That is not good. Dang it. Yep, yeah, we're moving. We're moving. That, that's all I can say about it. All the work I put in that house, we're going to have to pick it up and move it. See, look, 162 dialo. It's insanity. The high levels that spawn here, man. Extinction core on this server would be amazing. Because, like, I'm telling you guys, like, either I'm just getting super lucky or there's just high-level stuff just spawning constantly. Like, I, I bet you that Bronto is a high-level Bronto. Just something tells me it's going to be a high-level Bronto. Let's see. Let's get up close to it. Oh, level 54. Okay, so I, I would have lost that bet. But, all right, guys, I'm going to keep hunting and keep trying to get some more of this stuff that we need. I'll bring you guys back as I get a little bit further along. All right, guys, so I should have everything to make the pterodon set. Let's go ahead and go into pterodon. And, yep, there we go, guys. Do I have enough for two? No, just enough for one, which is perfect. That's all we need for now. So we can get this bad boy saddled up let me grab my armor out of here like i honestly have been running around naked which is not a good thing so let's see pop that on there and then let's go ahead and get a saddle on you and land you man 
it's going to be awesome, guys. We can finally get airborne, scat out this island a little bit, man. But I just know for a fact we have to get off this beach. This beach is insanely populated by bad stuff. Uh, once you get over on the other side, like you saw when we got the pterodons, it gets really quiet. It, it's just a matter of this beach seems to be bad. As you can see from all my little green icons, from me constantly having to have stuff chase me away and then it kills me, which it's really quiet right now, which makes me worry that something bad is going to happen. There's a Fiomia. Hmm. I know I saw raptors up there just a second ago. All right, guys, so on that note, it has been a pretty successful day. And to go over names that you guys suggested, we got blue for her, our green and then red for our brown uh, uh, raptors. Thank you guys so much for the names. But you guys, for next episode, we're going to need names for our two pterodons and our amazing 237 raptor. It is rips things apart guys it rips things apart we will take it out more next episode this was kind of like a spontaneous team because it was eating our house and thank god our house was able to withstand like you know having a raptor chew on it so on that note guys i want to thank you guys so much again for joining me on today's adventure it's been a blast hanging out with you guys Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's episode. Leave all your name suggestions down below. Check out everybody else in the description below for the Alpha Tribe because those are my bros. And I really got want you guys to check out their content. You got King Daddy, D Mac, Froggy Man, that German guy, and Every Night Riot. And until next time, guys, this is Repug hitting the pause button on this adventure. See ya. Back, back, back from the dead. <laughs>